And to add one more thing on the Sierra, the only thing I didn't like that I thought was flimsy before the test was the locking mechanism, which is here. You flip it up, and there's a little wire hook here that hooks in to this portion of the, the blade. That little, well, I've got to get into the screen, but this little hook right here, when you fold it up, it pushes that up, and then you have to lift it to get the hook over the top of it. And I thought that was flimsy design. But as you saw on the video, the damn thing held up really well. And basically all that is to keep it from folding back on your hand anyway. As long as you're sawing, you'll be pushing back on the blade that way anyway, so it's not going to hurt any damn thing. But when you go to close it, there's no mid lock or anything to keep it from getting on your fingers, so you got to be careful with that. But other than that, the 180 Sierra saw was an absolutely outstanding saw. And uh, definitely will have a couple more of my kits before it's over with.